Hello and welcome to another video. I am here this time uh, with another check-in video. I guess this is what my third check-in video now. Uh, but yeah, kind of just a casual video so I can pump something out even if it's not, I guess, highly edited and uh, a ton of work put into it. Just a little bit of a check-in video. So I'm going to go ahead and get into solo play here and I'll kind of give a rundown of what I've been up to and what I'm, again, excited for in Dungeons of Eternity and the VR space in general. Also, I'm going to double check that I have enhanced graphics on because sometimes I turn that off now. Okay, yeah, we're good. Um, but, yeah, so a lot of things have been happening with me. Before I get into this dungeon, I'll just mention that I did get married, and so that's a big thing that had taken up a lot of time for planning and then going through it and um, it was a very exciting day and I had a lot of fun um, and yes I am now married I now have a wife and uh, yeah it is just a thing that happened and I don't need to go all out into personal stuff on my YouTube channel uh, but if you are curious feel free to reach out to me um, I'm not sure uh, exactly why you would be watching my video and just randomly be curious about my wedding but y you know that's a thing and uh, i guess some other stuff um now that i'm more settled in and uh the craziness of getting married has settled down i have been getting back into the, the VR grind and the swing of things and just, I guess, more normal life. Because this honestly didn't change my life too much. Uh, I'd been dating uh, my wife, Emily, for six something, about six years. So not really a new change of pace, just a uh, official title now. But getting into the Dungeons of Eternity stuff that you are probably here for, uh, I am going to test out some greatsword stuff that I think I was wrong about in the last video, or the last check-in video that I made. Uh, so, here I've got a greatsword. What is this one? And I, I have gotten a few new uh, javelins, as they're called, or spears, whatever they end up being called here. For these, I just happen to have javelins. Um, and yes, they are quite cool. This one is pretty huge. Um, and then this one is probably my favorite so far. Uh, and then I have a couple more in the fabricator that I haven't fabricated. But uh, going back to the great sword, I want one that's not unblockable. I actually, what was the one I just had? That was, that, not that one. Right, this one, okay. Yeah, so it, it was unblockable. Uh, and the thing I'm gonna test is if I get the same interaction that I got with what I think was an unblockable sword, if I can also get that interaction without an unblockable greatsword. And to do that, of course, I'm just choosing unblockable. What's my favorite one that isn't unblockable? Probably this one. Yeah, I'll do this one, even though it has fire and fire might mess up some tests. I don't think it will. It should be good. Uh, so yeah, fire, greatsword. Again, my favorite model there. It's so cool, even though it's not the longest and the, the biggest. It is very nice. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead to first look at my exosuit, see that I have stillness. That works for me. Um, the arms perk of critical. That also works for me. And chest perk, less damage. What is this called? Armor. Okay, I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> got armor, and then I've got haste. So that is also decent. Um, I don't need haste for this. I could use anything, but I'll use haste anyway, because I don't need to do any of these jump kills. No need to be fancy. Okay, into the dungeons, and I'll continue to ramble on about some stuff. What do I got here? Um... Sandstorm. No. Why am I looking at these? I'm just going to do the sandbox. Yeah. Launch. Okay. See, this makes it just a, a quicker process for me to go through. Um, 
why I don't really have to think about stuff. Oh, I also never really noticed that my hands shake when we're in this teleporter. That's kind of cool. But, um, yeah, into the dungeon we go. And uh, there was also something about the new dagger hold that I, I also got wrong about. So I'm going to correct that. And a couple other things that I'll get to. But we've got here create an encounter so I'll just do underworld like I always like and uh, I'll do the middle tier um, actually with the weapon that I'm using I should probably use a higher do a higher tier six let's do six and uh, oh nope we're gonna do default because I want to test this weapon and if I chose one it would not be this specific weapon even if I chose long swords I wouldn't know what perks it has so all this other stuff can be default, don't really need to test that. And I just want to test with a skeleton warrior, maybe a skeleton minion. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll do five. So, well, no, might as well just do two. Try each one of them. Maybe it'll spawn each one, maybe two of one. I don't know exactly how that works, but that is good with me. I'll start the encounter and I would have to go through this door for it to start. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll I'll get I'll explain what I'm trying to do before I do it. So in my last video, I think it was my last video, I uh, was testing out the parrying, which I don't really think they have parrying in this game. Like the parrying in this game for the longest time has just been you block the enemy's blade and then they don't get stunned nothing really happens and you could just hold your blade there and they just go back to their default blocking stance right after they hit the we hit your weapon uh, even if it's like the tiniest touch of your weapon but then i realized oh uh when i'm using this great sword it parries them which i'll show here uh and then kind of explain it'll probably just make more sense to do it also they spawn in the same place ah so let me just kill Okay, wait, it, it is doing it though. Okay, so it's not just, so you see this thing where they get stunned because they hit my greatsword. In fact, if I just like hold it out really far, then they just, they just like accidentally touch it. And yeah, so this thing I thought was just for unblockable greatsword, but apparently it is all. And I'm saying greatsword, I guess the technical word was is the long sword and they just have other can be a great sword or a bastard sword or whatever kind of sword we're looking for um kind of just like an rng name but yeah no it's kind of cool that i can parry and the thing that i mentioned in my last video is just proven to be right i guess here so kind of cool uh i wonder can i just like poke him in the face no it has to actually hit their weapon yeah, in some way or another, this has to hit their weapon for them to get stunned by it. But it is cool that the, they react. That's just a nice little touch-up from the Greatsword. And oh, one more thing I did want to test. Let me just replay the last encounter. Replay. Replay. And I'm going to try one-handed. I don't think it will it will work one-handed. Oh, no, it does. Oh, okay. So it is just the Greatswords being Greatswords. And, yeah, this guy also gets buried. Cool. Nice. So you can one-hand greatsword, and it's still quite effective. Um, the only thing about one-hand greatswords is it is a little bit delayed. So I'm going to do, let's see, create encounter, choose round six again. Actually... I don't need six now because I'm not going to be using my loadout. I'm just going to be using long swords only. And same thing. These two guys, why not? And add that enemy wave. Oops. One more thing. Start encounter. Okay. Let's see. Here. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Ugh, okay. Let me just kill these guys real quick. Oops. Go back, go back. It's kind of funny that I can get back here quicker than it teleports me back here. It would be nice. That's like a little touch-up that they could do is if you get back into here before it teleports you back, just don't teleport back. Uh, 
I know they're definitely going to improve the sandbox, and so that that might be something they've already changed in their beta build or their alpha build or whatever they have right now. But just want to mention it. Uh, create an encounter. What was I doing? I was going to do just swords. I get you can't do swords only. You have to do sword and shields is the option. Yeah, so. I'll do sword and shields, do these guys again, and start the encounter. Then, oh yeah, so I got a shield on my back, and then I got two swords. So, these swords, I'm gonna see if I can block with them. Let me just kill this guy. Ooh. Kill that guy, and then let's see if, if I can parry. No, okay, yeah, so this, this is what I'm talking about, where uh, you can't really parry with these, with regular swords. It kind of just blocks. Um, yeah, it's just a block rather than a parry because they just go right back to their default position. And of course they can jump over you like you saw that jumping attack. That was that was something. But if I just kind of like hold out my weapon, they just like endlessly don't hit. Sometimes they'll go through and what am I at? 59. But if I just stand still, I wonder if I can die. I could just hold out my weapon and... Oh, yeah, so he elbowed me and... Yeah, no, he's he's getting close. I don't know if I'll ever die, because I have stillness right now. I guess he's kind of pushing me. And some of these swings are going over my head. Still another thing that I have mentioned so many times, but I want to see uh, left-handed enemies. Okay, so he does eventually kill me. That Maybe that was because I wasn't, like, gradually blocking the right area. Maybe something else. I have no clue. But, yeah, I'm dead. Um, I'll create a fun encounter this time. Some Somewhat of a challenge now. Uh, and uh, they added a, a challenges, a sandbox challenge thread, or sorry, channel to the Dungeons of Eternity Discord. And I think that that would be pretty awesome if uh, more people started putting in some uh, created challenges from the sandbox. However, there's, there's one guy who's been putting a ton of stuff, and most of his stuff is almost impossible to complete. Uh, I haven't actually tried any yet because there's a bit of overhead too you have to like look at discord while you're creating it and you have to do exactly what the person said or or make your own and it's just it's a little bit of uh friction to this process that if there was no friction i would definitely do it if there because there's friction i am less inclined to do it uh but okay i've got yeah tier three is fine with me i'm gonna do uh, spears, because those are still fairly new to me and still fun. And uh, hazards, nothing. Pickups, default, that's fine. I'll just. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna do a bunch of critters. This might. This probably won't be a lot of much of a challenge, but it'll be pretty fun, I think. Oh, you can only choose three. That's right. Um, what is this? This is a little spider. That's a spider. Spider. Okay. Yeah. No, I just want the little guys. So I'll do these normal, the spider, bat, and slime. Blob, <laughs> it's not even the slime, it's a blob. Okay, so yeah, spider, bat, and blob, and then I would do the wasp as well, but again, I can't also do that. And maybe I would do lost soul, but yep, can't do that. So I'll just do <laughs> 25, <laughs> that'd be chaotic. I'll do 10, just to do it. And start that encounter whenever I'm ready. Um, but yeah, I know I haven't made a video since uh, the U.S. election results have come out, um, and I don't really want to get into it, but uh, at least not on my YouTube channel here. But if you ever want to have a political discussion, I have been learning more about like this whole process. I've kind of been uh, away from politics for a while and not really paying attention to it. Like I learned about it throughout uh, high school and college and throughout being outside of college and all that, but I hadn't really dove into what's actually going on and like both sides of the spectrum and kind of weighing things and whatever, all that stuff. I've been getting into it recently and I've kind of been enjoying it weirdly enough. Uh, it's sometimes triggering for specific things that are said, but you know, it's generally kind of fun. So I've started to follow some politics, but again, I won't really get into politics here. If you want to have an individual conversation about it, feel free to reach out. Oh, big thing, uh, totally unrelated to politics. I 
created a Discord. Uh, well, I guess it's kind of a big thing. Maybe it's not a big thing. I don't really know what it's going to be, but um, I put a decent amount of effort into making my Discord, like revamping a Discord that I already had uh, from my Brawlhalla days. I revamped the Discord into more of a, a current Dungeons of Eternity. It's not even Dungeons of Eternity. It's kind of just my Discord and if anyone wants to join and just say hi or have a conversation or ask questions, whatever the heck you want to do, come in my J Discord. Uh, I will be active there. So if you reach out, if you talk about stuff, I will be there. Um, so yeah, I'll put that in the description below. I'll also um, have that in my about page and I think I've made a little post about it too. So do that thing and let me go ahead and kill a bunch of blobs and so this is 10 oh you know what i should probably just keep this on me some will be frozen oh no that see that's okay i gotta just gotta jab oh my that was an exploding guy <laughs> i forgot that's a thing now okay sweet i can really just like hold out my wait let me let me see can i do that can i just hold it out Ooh, no, not for the slime at least gosh okay let me just stand still so I can recover health here. Jab. Perfect. Oh, and you can sling him up. Is that it? Oh, that was it. Oh my gosh. Let me do that one more time. Except, no, I'm going to create it. Does it save what I had? I think it saves what I kind of. Not really. Okay. Slimes, all that good stuff. 25. Just make a little more. That works for me. Start this encounter. Okay. Oh, and I got a new spear. The single point spear. Yeah, so it really is fun to... Oh, gosh, what was that? Exploding spider, maybe? Probably. Okay, come at me. Oh, oh okay. Nice. It would be pretty fun to have some sort of... Oh, purple? I did not even know you could have purple spiders. Interesting. Uh, it's kind of hard to jab the bats in particular. It's hard to jab a lot of these guys. The blobs are only the only ones that aren't very hard to jab but yeah i mean it's, it's just kind of weird that <laughs> it's it's more efficient to just like strike with this weapon use it like a sword rather than using it like a spear <laughs> oh gosh wow because it's it's hard to just poke with this thing <laughs> it's easier to just hold it out oh gosh that was an exploding dude oh no okay i should be fine hopefully things don't come behind me and kill me okay we're good is that an exploding bat? No. Okay. It's funny how the slime still... Ooh. Nice. So many spiders. Give me that health. Ah! It's not giving me health. Okay. There we go. Oh! And, no, I guess I did it. That works. Uh, but <laughs> it's funny how the, the spiders... Um, no, the blobs. The blobs. Blobs. What was I even saying? I think it was the, the ice blobs. When you explode them, they still explode greenness, even though they're ice. You would expect them to explode ice, but whatever. I think that's. I think that's exclusive to the sandbox, and they haven't put that into the dungeons. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't done a ton of dungeons since sandbox has come out. Um. So, yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Uh. Okay, let's see. What else? I think I had... Oh, oh, yeah. So new meta recording tools are coming out. And so it'll be easier than ever to... Actually, should I just do a small... Yeah, I got the time. I'm going to try to find a small dungeon here. I'm going to go back to the outpost. And... Because I don't want to create my own... See, the thing about Sandbox, you got to create your own stuff. It's like being your own game developer. I just want to play the game. Um, I want to be lazy. Lazy. Let the game developers that are amazing at developing games do it for me. Or I guess the, the random generation that they prepared for us do it for me. That one's pretty good. I'll probably do that. we got 10 minutes to choose. More than enough time. Ooh, Cursed Gallows. Okay. Maybe I'll do this. I think I'll probably do that. But... Okay. Yeah, I'll do that one. It's pretty small. It looks bigger but because it's like it's more zoomed in and there's just not that many rooms i think i'm just gonna go uh i think i take a yeah i take two two right turns and i go straight across that big room and then i go into the last room over there 
That works for me. What do I have? I've got the great sword. That's right. I don't want these. Ah. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> I think I also already made a video using this loadout. I'm not positive. I kind of forgot what loadout I had last time. A whole two weeks ago. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this loadout again. Sorry if it's a repeat of the same loadout. Uh, I know I'm, I'm so boring. Oh, you know what? No. I'll, I'll change it up just a bit, even in case in case it was this weapon that I used. Now it's not. Now I've got this one. <laughs> that thing is huge. Okay, that works. And my daggers, I kind of want poison daggers to go along with the poison thing, but that's okay. I don't need poison daggers. I'm good to go. And so yeah, these awesome meta recording tools, tier seven works for me. Um, oh, you know what? No, because I'm doing tier seven, I should probably get three quad potions just in case we come across a boss with a lot of stuff where's the quad here's the quad there we go and good okay perfect got my quad potions back to the thing it would be kind of cool if i could just fabricate my potions right here because i always forget on my first dungeon but whatever that's fine um but yeah so these these meta quest recording tools uh Right now, I, I've been, I have a whole video about what I've been using and how it works, and it's slowly evolving and slowly changing, and I'm trying to like keep the description of that video changing with whatever updates come out. Uh, however, I think that a lot of things are going to change pretty soon because Meta seems to be focusing a little... Oh, cool, I got the map. Meta seems to be focusing a little bit more on these software updates uh oh yeah i don't even have a key i think there might be a key in here but yeah they're focusing on their software now and basically that means that we'll be getting some better recording tools uh, along with a lot of other things operating system updates whatever else but uh they did announce in this v71 which i am currently on v71 uh, but it just doesn't work yet. This feature of recording. Oh gosh, just stuck into it. Die. And you know what? My whole strategy with this is to just throw things. So I'm just gonna do that. And I don't know. That archer just went through the thing. I don't know if I killed him or not. I think I did. Ooh. It's funny how I can. Oh wow. I can throw my spear basically any way I want, and it just works. Oh, where in the world? Okay, there's the archer. <laughs> Never mind. It doesn't always work. See, I'm, I'm throwing it like this, which you shouldn't really throw a spear like that, but whatever. Um, I think that was it. Yeah, the music ended. Cool. But yeah, so this, this new recording feature should work natively it basically will give the wide field of view which i have right now with the metaquest developer hub also i don't think there oh i got a key nice two keys oh fantastic i can go right back here and open chess um man i keep getting distracted but hey i'm playing a game and talking at the same time it's tough tough out here uh so with the metaquest link which is like the default metaquest uh, app, PC app that you can use to play PC VR through like the official meta PC VR app. But now, or at least now we should have the ability to record just like I'm recording in the MetaQuest developer hub with the wide FOV. Uh, and I think there was like another setting that was kind of important, but the biggest thing is just having that wide FOV. That is huge, and this guy is annoying. Okay, I might die here. No, they don't do that much damage. I kind of forgot. Die. I'm using one hand with this, and it's kind of weird. There we go. What am I at? 55. It's kind of weird how I also can't check my health when I... I'm holding a weapon with two hands. That's another downside of these kind of weapons. Let's see if I can throw like that. Ha! Huh. I did it. Me not trying to be realistic at all. Oh, ow. 34 health. Silly me. There we go. Nice. I think we're good. Nope. 
Still got some more dudes. Right in the face. But yeah, so the whole MetaQuest developer hub thing, it's nice that I'm able to use the MetaQuest developer hub. But it really kind of sucks that I got to go through this whole process to record and to make sure it's working properly. Uh, and for other people that just want to casually record things and don't have a YouTube channel that they're consistently uploading on, it's just like a lot of overhead that nobody wants to go through. So the fact that they're making it easier, it's still not perfect. And it would be ideal if they just added the wide field of view recording to the native headset recording. Uh, maybe only just to the Quest 3 because it has more processing power or something. But yeah, currently, oh, that was kind of funny. <laughs> Sucker. Uh, but yeah, no, currently it, it just doesn't do that. You just have the, the default. Either you choose portrait or you choose landscape. And either way, it kind of sucks. Um, ow. Oh boy. Okay. Almost dying out here. Poke them in the... Yeah. yeah. I don't know. When I'm swinging against those guys, I should definitely be poking instead. The swings are more so against things that don't have defense. Um, but yeah, no, this all, all the recording stuff seems to be very nice. Very nice for the future. And... Uh, I mean, it should be happening right now, but because they roll out their updates, a lot of the features that they put in their updates don't actually work until a few weeks later. I think sometimes some of their features that have come out in one release haven't come out for like another year or two, and it's been kind of ridiculous, but whatever. It's kind of just how that stuff works for meta, and I guess it's working for them. I hope they change it, but... Yeah, not sure why my throw was so bad there. I should also try to just like throw one and then finish them off when they're on the ground. <laughs> See, I'm still not stabbing where I should be. That guy was stabbing, that was good. I think I like double stabbed him and did extra damage. Don't have a key there. Did I pick up a key already? I don't know, in this room. Open that. Give me this chest, and I, oh, ow, ow. <laughs> Feels dangerous when I'm in such a small room to take out. If I took out my spear and tried to stab him, he was already like standing right here, so it'd be hard. I'd have to like raise my hand and get down in there. It'd be tough, so I just walked out. Um, yeah, so recording stuff going well. Uh, got this room. There's also, there's a really cool, um, there's two really cool water fountain, or waterfall rooms that I just went to last night, and, uh, the person who showed me Snail Chick, she really loves those rooms, and I kind of agree with her. They are very cool, especially, probably my favorite, uh, Vile Hall rooms. I still am not a huge fan of Vile Halls in general. Okay, that was terrible. Oh my. Yeah, still not a huge Vile Hall fan, but... Oh, this guy can just go through stuff. What? There we go. 59. Um, I'd still rather do Underworld or... I don't know. Maybe I prefer this over... Lava Forge? I probably do over Lava Forge. I think Sandstorm. I think my rating goes Underworld, Sandstorm, Vile Halls, and Lava Forge. I think that's just like how the, the maps appear, but that also just happens to be my favorite to least favorite, uh, at least with the aesthetics. Everything else I don't really care too much about, like whether things are exploding. If I want a challenge, of course I'm going to go for the exploding stuff. Eh, maybe I'll go for the, the ice stuff. There's a lot of trade-offs there. Um, but... Yeah, it would be cool if one of these last rooms that I'm about to go into just so happens to be one of those waterfall rooms. I probably should have saved that dungeon that I was talking about uh, from Snail Chick, but I did not, so oh well. Kill this stuff. Nice. Okay. Oh man, this poking is so weird, especially... Or at least the swinging. Swinging. 
when I grab it in the wrong place, especially. Oh, tell me. Okay, I do have two keys. For a second, I thought I did not. That would have sucked. Just barely have enough. Okay, I wish I could open this just with my hands, like you can in Asgard's Wrath 2, instead of having to click A to open it. That would be a nice quality of life improvement. Because, like, you can already open the doors so nicely just by pushing them, and unlocking the key just, like, cleanly opens the door. But with the chests, it I guess it opening the chest with the key also opens the chest. But then to actually open it, get stuff in your inventory, you gotta click A, which I think is just kind of weird. There should be some sort of interaction to, to get the stuff. Maybe grabbing whatever's inside of it, reaching in to grab it, that'd be cool. I'm sure there's a lot of suggestions about that on the Discord already, but... Me just spitballing. Oh, come on. How did I not get that? Yeah, so one, one problem I have with these two-handed weapons is, oh, that's awesome. A lot of times I will accidentally grab into my inventory and, or not my inventory, just my side weapons, my daggers that happen to be on each side. And that, oh man, see that's annoying too. <laughs> when you when you stab enemies and the, the spear just comes out of your hand because you stab them. And there we go. Yeah, so I, I meant to grab the weapon with both my hands, but instead I accidentally grabbed the side weapon. So it would be, the suggestion there is, <laughs> that's so annoying, um, ideally, ooh, I've got someone here. All right, sorry for that interruption. Um, just a person appearing at my doorstep and I could not keep recording the video. So here I am back to finish my comment. Uh, <laughs> I think the one thing I was rambling on about when it stopped was uh, my suggestion of being able to not uh, have any of these side weapons. Basically the option to have nothing at your hips or maybe move your hips further down or not be so sensitive. I guess there's a couple suggestions there, but uh, it would be nice to just have it so that I'm not always accidentally grabbing my my weapon down there instead of my staff. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me problem, but we've got that. And then uh, there were two other things. I wanted to go over. I don't even need to go into a dungeon, honestly. I could just like hang out here in this pretty space. Uh, no, I'll go to this pretty space. I, I like the, I like the pretty space of this. It's always very cool, in my opinion. But um, yeah. So the the two other things. There was one, um, Maestro. Well, actually, there were two games I wanted to mention. But before I mention those games, there's the last thing, which is the dagger hold. So I, I just made a video. Uh, I think it was my last video. Maybe it was the one before that. I don't know. But about how holding the dagger, you could hold it really far down. And, like, you could basically hold the dagger down here and just have, like, an invisible spot of not holding the dagger. Um, but now you can only hold it from this one spot on the dagger. It just it forces the the pinch at the very bottom of the weapon you can hold it on one side or the other um or down at the handle either way uh but you can't hold it in the middle now and you can't hold it <laughs> off of the can't hold it on nothingness basically can't use the magic to hold the dagger but i think this is a, a pretty cool look i mean this is kind of how people throw knives if they have to throw knives except usually they're touching it my bones don't actually touch so i'm still using magic but you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so throw it, it goes, and it works. I'm not really going to be using this much because it just by default, the unholster, the unrealistic unholster, unholsters them like this. So I don't really have a need to flip them around and do that. So I probably won't. But it's a cool change. If you want to be a cool person like that, or you want to use unrealistic unholster and just grab it right off the bat with your uh, fingertips on the blade, then you can do that. And I guess one last thing, 
two last things would be Maestro and Blade and Sorcery. Uh, those two games, it was cool to see first Maestro. Maestro is awesome, by the way. I highly recommend going and checking that game out. It's a dun I almost said dungeon game. It is not a dungeon game. It's uh, music. Basically, you're a conductor conducting a symphony. And... I think it's a pretty awesome game uh, if you like Beat Saber or any rhythm games. Honestly, even if you don't, if you don't like rhythm games or you don't think you do, I highly recommend this game. Just checking it out because there is a demo for it where you play the tutorial and basically just get an experience of the game. I wish that this game had a demo like that. I know they did a free weekend at some point and you can always return games, but it would be cool if there was a way to just do the tutorial of this game because so many people would play that. And then be like, okay, yeah, I got to get this game. But, um, yeah, so Maestro, by the way, it's also hand tracking. So it's it's a good way to get people into VR if, if, they're, if they've never tried it before or you just want them to try something new. Maestro is a really good experience for basically anybody, whatever VR experience level they're at. Then, lastly, uh, Blade and Sorcery. So... Uh, I guess Blade and Sorcery is somewhat of a competition to this game. It it came before this game, and it was more of a sandbox modding game than anything. Um, but it kind of has similar fighting aspects, and people that played that game might play this game, vice versa. Um, and the 1.0 update just came out on the Quest uh, before it was out on PC VR, and... They're kind of doing the opposite of Dungeons of Eternity, where they do PCVR updates first, and then they do quest updates. Uh, Dungeons of Eternity is focused on quests, and then going to have uh, PCVR at some point. Uh, but yeah, it seemed like it would be a really cool update, and I tried it. Uh, I actually didn't play the game before trying it, but initial impressions, pretty bad. Um, it was really stuttery. Uh, I think the frame rate was off, and it just did not feel nearly as smooth as this game and many other VR games that I've played. And so if if that's the trade-off they had to make to come from PC VR to Quest, I don't think it was worth it. Uh, I think a lot of other people think otherwise, but I am a big believer on you need to make the game uh, perform well if it's going to do well. Uh, even if it looks amazing, has tons of content, and otherwise is an amazing, perfect game, if it doesn't perform well, if you don't have good frame rate, then what's the point? Or if there's a ton of bugs or something, it's just, it's rough. People just aren't going to play it. And so, yeah, I, w I was really hoping otherwise. I was hoping that game was awesome, and I would be inclined to play it a little bit more. And I kind of just wanted to test the magic out in that game, but I didn't even get to the point where there was much magic to test uh, so at some point i'll probably go dig a little deeper and just test their magic because i feel like this game one of the things it's lacking is magic but uh yeah i'll go into that at some point other than that i know that was a bit of a ramble without any fighting uh but hope you enjoyed the video and yeah sorry for the weirdness the interruptions and i'm jumping from place to place sandbox to dungeons to no VR, back into VR, just explaining stuff while looking at a beautiful moon. Uh, but, again, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.